Hey everybody, it's Moonfred here and I thought I'd do another video for the how to penetration test videos series because it's been a long time. And we're starting up with uh, 5NNP and if we go to the menu, uh, we left off there, SNNP. Then we go here, we go to here, but we already did uh, zero trace because that was also in here. And I believe it was under, where was it? On the route here. So we go to that one, 500B, and you actually need to do some stuff for that. You need to do that, I believe. But let me just be quickly sure about that. Yeah, so you have to run that command so you can um, install the .NET 2 load. And then you can, you need to run or this command actually in this directory because otherwise it does not work. Now something else, um, no that was it actually. So this one, what does it do? Well it's basically a SNMP gatherer but it can do it across a range of systems. So we're going to do like that, we're going to say community stream like that but you can actually brute force that one so that's pretty cool um, about this tool. Um, and we're just gonna run it, see what happens. And it didn't get anything on this string, it says. Let me quickly check if the port configuration is alright. Alright, so I fixed that the SNMP works, but as I can see here, it's not quite working as of yet because if I run this and I go back uh, see because if I run this here you can see the amount of bytes in and how long it took you can maybe make it like so and then end it at 33 and say run nothing zero responses for that one it seems to me that can go through it because um, here I run a old tool that we got the uh, SNMP check and it enumerated this in 2.77 seconds so I would go with that tool. Uh, this, this is a maybe a nice tool on Windows but here it doesn't really work so at least not for me it doesn't so um, but it could be because a lot of these things are made for Windows. This is actually a tool act, like made for Windows. Now let me do it like so because otherwise it's maybe a bit annoying. And I'm running it via Wine. I could try and run it via that one, but I have bad experiences with that. That the graphical user interface doesn't want to load correctly. As you can see right here. Like it, it just does not want to load very correctly. I'll just be patient and hope that somehow. Well, that was not good. All right, let's do it like so. All right, let's let's run it again. One and two. The one six eight. The one four three. Public go run. And again, you can see it just that doesn't generate anything. Let me make this a bit smaller. I said make this a bit smaller. You can't make it smaller. Oh cool, can I make it bigger? No. Like I said, it does not want it. Ah for God's sake. So that's it's a nice tool maybe but um maybe it doesn't work on Blackboard too. That's what I want to say. Well, here you got some DLLs, but in here those two DLLs don't work quite as well. So, but anyway, it's just a simple tool to do some st stuff like recursively on uh, SNMP. But you can also write a tool that will say, because this one you run like that, you'll just say uh, for each um, well IP as a word, for each dollar IP in, and then a range IPs do 
this tag t with the ip in there dollar p or whatever variable name you want to give it and in which language it is because not everything is with a dollar sign but you can uh, um, like the pseudo code is for each ip in this list of ips do snmp check pl dash t and then the ip address and then you can get all these cool little things going on as you can see there are a lot of things always that you can get from um, SNMP if you get the correct rights the cool thing is though that I'm not quite sure if this one does that or if the other one does that um, only the only the other one does that. Let me see if I can find it. Um, Cause I got some. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, the default port is one sixty one, which is true. Default is public. All right, that's damn. Should help me. That's this right. Well, anyway, um. Can run out the game with a W attack to it, and write access enabled, which means we can write stuff to it via SNMP. Cool, uh, but that's not what I wanted to know. You can write the same script, but then with C running through a list of community strings because that's about it. What you can do, not everybody's gonna have a community string that's public, some will have different community strings. But that's it. That's it. So, uh, um, yeah, close. So that's it for uh, 5NMP, a tool that's not really that cool to use, actually.